much like last night, we will have a minute's silence for the passing of Coventry Blaze assistant head coach, assistant coach Dale Keane. We'll be back with you in about two minutes' time. Across all leagues and teams in the country, all of us here at the Bees would like to wish, offer our thoughts, prayers, and condolences to his family and his friends. It's an extremely difficult time. We would like to welcome you in joining us in a standing in a minute's silence to celebrate his successful hockey career and to pass on our respects to his friends and family. Smith again. Harvey Stead, wind up from the blue line. Shot off the pad of Norton. Lipsy. Able to clear it. Lewis will collect. Takes the hit from Harvey Stead. Antonov will set Vitali away and the bees break in on goal. Gianni Vitali rips one under the blocker of Norton. And the bees needed a fast start. They've got one tonight. 8 19, time of the goal. Gianni Vitali's 18th of the season. Turned over in the neutral zone and just ripped on net. And Vitali fight. See who it is, it's Dan Bradley again. Smith around the boards. Puck only finds his way back to where Bradley at the blue line. Steps away from Lewis. Back to Mog. Mog winds up, fires. Tip in front and goes in! Stuart Mog from the blue line. Fired towards goal, we'll see who got the touch on it. 11.41, the Bees double up their lead. It's good puck movement from the Bees and the shot comes in from Stuart Mogg and Vanya Antonov in front of the net holds off his man for just long enough to tip it home for his 13th goal of the season. McKenzie gets his pocket picked for a moment there. Good way to get back on the puck there. Morris. Turned over, Baird keeps that in the zone, fired towards goal, Norton sees it late, trickles in, yes it has! Brendan Baird kept it in at the blue line, it was fired towards goal. We'll have to wait and see on the replay what happened after that. 12.57 and it's 3-0 Bees. Baird keeps it in the blue line, it's fired towards goal, it hits the post. Norton gets it on the back and it's Dom Gabay on the back door to poke it home for goal number 35 of this. Fired to you, Harlingram. Lingren still with it, makes it to the goal line, evades a diving Morris. Possible wrap around the 10, no, back to the blue line. White say fires towards traffic, blocked in front by Morris, bounces to Mason Lipsy and he'll slide it home. Morris down hurt in front, but Mason Lipsy with a power play marker to get the pit bulls on the board, 15-25 and his seventh goal of the season. It's good work from Juha Lindgren just off before the play. The shot fired towards goal, blocked by Morris. And again, Lipsy reacts fastest and whips it round Priest's leg. And in. Won by Balaz once more. Balaz from nowhere, the shot goes through everything. I'm completely switched off. Marcel Balaz fires home on the man advantage. And quick as they come, the Bees take their fourth and right on the power play, 40-37. And Marcel Balaz is 44th of the season. Carried into the zone, it finds Balaz, uses Lydia as a screen, and it's snapped under the glove of Norton. And into the back of the net. Face off left to Priest, one by the pit bulls. Cycle round, good save from Priest, but Barry McKenzie, Johnny on the spot, roofs one over him on the rebound. And the pit bulls bring the deficit back to two, 43 58. Barry McKenzie, seventh goal of the season. 
Quick as a flash, straight from the draw. Fired on goal, Priest makes the initial save, and McKenzie right there on the spot, over Priest and in. The Pitbulls cut the deficit to two. Goes back to the goal, Burbrayer, back door chance, loose in front, Brisbane Priest, that one's gone in! The, pip, the bees will hate it, but Mason Lipsy has poked one home. Brithen Priest scrabbling back to the goal line, can't get it before it crosses the line. And it's a one goal game, 58 46. Time of the goal for Mason Lipsy, his second of the night. It's loose in front. Priest makes a first save and then almost just pushes it over the line with his stick. The bees don't like it, but it's a goal nonetheless. There's nothing wrong with that one. The Pitbulls will call a timeout. It's a one goal game with one full. It's like man and match night. Firstly, for our visitors, the Bristol Pitbulls. Wait for them to step forward as it's announced. But it goes to Barry McKenzie for the evening. He got the second goal for the Pitbulls to bring them back into this with a lovely finish on the doorstep over Britton Priest. Battling all night. He takes home the empty box. Don't worry, there is a full one in the changing room. Pitbulls fans, if you join us in the rink or here on the stream tonight, thank you, and thank you for obviously spending your time with us all through the year. It's the last time we see you this season. Enjoy the rest of the year. Enjoy Coventry if you are going, of course. I wish you well for the rest of the year. This goes to Vanya Antonov. He missed last night. Back with a vengeance night. Got himself on the score sheet. And there's yet another Man of the Match award for the year. Shirt and launch, or sign a hat even, shirt. He's signing a hat, he will see how far he can clear the plexi. And held in the crowd as well. First one we've seen of those for a while. The bees will go on a lap of honour to the fans following a four point weekend. A big win in Swindon last night and a big win here against Bristol tonight. Four points in that big push for the playoffs. And the Bees will go again next week with a double header, first away on the Saturday, but then back here on Sunday when we welcome the Milton Keynes Lightning to town for the second and final time in 2024. Same time, same place here on the Bees Match Night live stream. We welcome the Lightning in the town for the second of a double header over that weekend. They are still in touch of the league title. They've got a cup final coming up as well. They can't take this for granted. We'll be back here from 4.15 next Sunday. Thank you for joining us here this evening. And producer Nick, you can hit your favourite button. Good night.